Okay, uh, welcome back. This is Anne's J Minor. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the Virtus Alpha. Uh, I had to do a bit of a workaround uh, because Blender doesn't support Virtus Alpha, so I'm going to show you the steps to do this. Uh, first things we're going to do is we'll go ahead and go to Edit Mode, UV Unwrap our Object, and we're going to subdivide a couple of times here so we can get a good idea of what everything looks like. Then we'll go to Virtus Paint. Now here's the thing. Alright, what I've done is uh, when you go to apply Virtus Alpha, seeing as how it doesn't work with plants, we don't have to worry about the Virtus colors and the Virtus Alpha overlapping each other, at least not at the moment. Um, black is fully transparent for the base material not the dirt layer but the base material okay meaning if the vertus is colored completely black the dirt layer is going to shine through all the way red is going to be complete opacity for the ba the base material which I'll show you in a moment alright what we're going to do here is we're going to paint a little bit Okay. Da, 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 da. Now, for the red, just hit 1, R is 1, green 0, blue 0. Alright, then we go ahead and paint in our red where we want our red, which is going to be where our base map shows through, the base material. Okay, now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the Virtus Colors where it says Col, or Color, you rename that to Alpha. That is how it, that is what makes it work right here, renaming the color map, the Virtus Color map to Alpha. Alright, now, of course we want to save as, and we'll go ahead and, I had already done one, but we'll name this 2. Okay, now with our cube selected, go to object mode and we're going to add a cry export node. Alpha test 2. Okay, that adds it in there. As you can see, it's green along the side here, meaning that it's part of the uh, cry export node. Go ahead and save that again. And uh, since how we've only got one material, we're not really worried right now. You can worry about that later on. That it'll automatically assign that to material slot one. When you get into physics proxies, etc., etc., then it'll be time to worry about it. But anyway, for right now, just for for the moment, all right. We're CGF, and we want to re run the resource compiler, and we also want to. Uh, open up our system console just so we can see and of course as you can see right here zero errors one warning which would be the material which is no problem alright now we'll come back over here go to our brush as you can see I already had the Virtus Alpha Test 1 alright and we'll reload. There is our Virtus Alpha Test 2. Go ahead and bring it on over here. Bring it on up to where we can see. Now, in our material editor, 
I had taken one of the base ones and I applied in the custom here. I uh, put that's your dirt layer map there, uh, as you can see. And of course, the sci fi metal. And then you come on down here to dirt layer and do your. You just follow the documentation from here on out. But uh, anyway, we'll apply that to the chosen one, and as you can see, voila. Virtus Alpha works. Simple as that. So, to recap, uh, Virtus Paint. Red is full opacity, black is transparency. Rename your Virtus Color Map to Alpha. Export does good. Anyway, thanks a lot. That's Virtus Colors.